Welcome back. In the first video we packaged 7 zip and by purpose did some errors. In the second video we looked at the log file and we saw one of the error that we had put in the install command line and we corrected that and after that we installed it again and then it successfully installed but still gave an error because the detection method was wrong and we know that. And if we would have looked in the console it would have said failed and then it says the system file cannot um, let me expand that the system file cannot find the file specified which was true because I did a type on the file that it was searching for I forgot that um, we should have looked what it said in the log file and the log file we find again under program data Microsoft Intune management extension logs and then it's the Intune management extension and this one when it's full, full it creates a new one so you can have multiple with this with different date so be sure to check at the latest one or the one corresponding so here we see something very interesting after when we run when we corrected the command line but the detection method is wrong it actually says exit code defined as success because it gives the exit code of zero which is success but it actually failed according to the detection rule because it's the detection rule if you're coming from SCCM configuration manager there in the, the legacy package you also had detection rules in the application but if you did the legacy package it just looked if exit code was zero but that's not enough here so we see that also here from um, the log file so now we leave the log file for a while and now we're gonna look at the registry also because the registry also um, log a lot of things so that's interesting so we are still in a state where the detection rule failed so let's go to uh, regedit and I'm gonna give the path in uh, the description if you don't want to follow so it's under HK local machine software and I can click on M to easier go to Microsoft and here under Microsoft it should be in tune something in tune management extension and under here we have some more data and you have followed my video you know I love favorites in um, re registry edit so I have added this one as a red um, favorite here you can just click add and it will uh, remember this one why because after a while you go somewhere and you want to find it back quickly favorite Intune management extension bam you are there so we are specifically interested in win32 apps so normally you would see one where it says all zero zero here under it's when you deploy to device for some reason I have only deployed to user and this um, who starts CCAD that's what my friends call me that's my name in Azure AD so everything that's deployed to my user that I'm logged in here the John Brents goes here and apparently I have two applications so usually this list is very long and it can be difficult to see which one so again you go back to the application verify the app ID and the one 7 zip starts with 5 FBB so let's see if one start yes the one at the top here is uh, 5 FBB see if I can make this I'm actually going to make this one a bit smaller so we can see more here but under here we have compliance state message and enforcement state message the underscore one means that this is the first version because we haven't repackaged into win file we have done changes but the package is the same so if we here I'm gonna make this one a bit uh, smaller here so we can see here and maximize this one so here we can just see the exit code was actually zero which is a success so well that that's good so we have a compliance state the most interesting one is the enforcement state message so if we double click on this one here enforcement state message we get the error code so that means no good if we look at one that recently works this is probably the VLC it should be uh, yeah. Uh, 1000 that's a good one an error code null means that it wasn't an error code so this one down here 7b0 it's uh, VLC that we package in another series 
So let's uh, focus here on our seventh step. So the error message here, minus uh, 2000, uh, not 2000, minus 20, if we copy that, wouldn't surprise me if we can find that in here too. So I do control F, paste it, let's go up, and here we have this the same error message here. It's maybe a bit small here. So the registry in this log file, they share the same information. Not exactly the same. So this is one way. And the one way, we're not going to go through this now, but if we want to make this machine forget that it even tried, if for some, for some reason this one has failed four times and it won't retry again, you can search on this ID and delete it. But it's a good idea to uh, put yourself on the top here. Control F. So you could put the app ID in there this one here and search and delete every entry of it. Then you need to wait a bit, restart the service for Intune and a lot. So that, so let's, um, now we have looked in the registry, let's fix this now so we get a success. And then we will look in the log file and the registry and all everyone be happy. So we know what the problem is. The problem is that the detection method is looking for this file and it's looking if the version is 23 or bigger, larger. So we have to correct that to look for 22.01 or, um, or uh, bigger. So we go back to apps. Well, I was at apps, right? Windows. And here we have our 7-zip app. And yes, it have failed, even though it's have installed. And then we can do um, properties. And we're just going to change the um, uh, detection role here, down here. Click on it, not the three dots again, that's delete. Click on it. And I'll change this one before it was uh, seven, uh, seven zip like this, I think. This is the correct file, this is the correct path, but we have to do it down to. I'm going to go and verify that it, what was exactly. Looks to be. That's product version. File version is uh, different. Let's go with file version 22 1.0.0. So it has to be this value. We could put um, equal to, totally fine. But if someone in the future manually update to 23 or something, it's fine that this one is success. We don't want to downgrade. So I actually prefer uh, greater than or equal to. Okay, we save this one, save one here, and no, not cancel. I actually exactly wanted to save this one. So now the detection rule is correct. So let's see if we can rerun it now from company portal. Maybe it's a bit too fast. So it actually says failed, and it should go very quick now. It should run the detection method very quickly and say that it's success. We'll see if that's the case. Now it will try again. Okay. Installed. So why does it say installed? It didn't run the script because the detection method noticed that it was there and said, fine, you are installed. So if we go to the registry here and look, it should still say uh, that it failed, right? Uh, no, it's already said uh, success. Okay, very fast. I thought I would have to... Uh, uh, do a refresh. If you don't see it, do an F5 a refresh. So we already got this one as a success now. If we look at the log file under C program data Microsoft Intune Management Extension log, Intune Management Extension.log, we should probably have some um, success here as well. We know what it should look for. It should look for version 22.01. Zero, zero. Let's look for that. And here we got it. Greater than equal actual version comparison application. So the actual version is, that's the one it found, and it compared to this version. So that's true. This is great. It's not greater, but or it's actually equal. So we have a success here. We could probably here check uh, the file, it, do another compare, check the file, compare, then greater or true. So that's a success. 
So we have verified the log file in the Intune management extension.log. We have also done it here under uh, the registry. And we had looked from before under our log file that we created in the first video. And we saw that in this one as well, even though it's red here because it triggered on this name error, it's status zero, which means success. So we had corrected two errors, of course, it can be a lot of different errors. And what I really recommend is, so this one haven't kept, uh, um, catched up yet. It's going to change to success. The client need to report back. But what I really recommend is that you're going to get an error message down here. Take that error message, put on Google in tune, and then put this error this mess status detail message in quotation. You're going to find others who have similar. But now you know where to look for the log files. So it's uh, program data. I repeat myself a million times. Microsoft, Intune Management Extension, logs. And again, these are going to grow. Uh, you're going to have multiple of these after a while. Intune Management Extension log It's the one. And you can also go to the registry as we show. So that's the end of this uh, troubleshooting scenario. If you have any error codes or other issues, put in the comments and I will try to um, see if I can help them out. Thank you very much for watching this video. Have a great day.